CCR Party. Welcome to the show. Uh, my name's Nick. This is Joe. Hi. We do the Found Footage Festival. We're surrounded by all our VHS tapes mm -hmm. we found at thrift stores, and we're going through them week by week with you. We got a good lineup today, and I'm excited to celebrate something. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. This is a big celebration. So last weekend, uh, our director, our buddy Steve, we've known Steve for a long time, he's our, uh, the director of this show. He got married last weekend. And unfortunately, we weren't able to be there for his bachelor party, or we were there for the wedding. Well, I was there for the wedding. I think yep. you showed up a little bit I, late. But, they barred uh, me, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I was there for the reception. You were there for the reception. Yep. Um, and so uh, we decided let's have our bachelor party, Steve's bachelor party, today after yeah. his wedding. That's usually how it works, I think right? that makes sense. You just yeah. kind of want one final hurrah after you're married. Yep. I, I think that's generally how it works. And so we, got, we put together all these, like, you know, like bro-y kind of things to do. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, uh, right, with some sensitivity, hopefully, but yeah. No, 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 it gets no? rough. It's gonna okay. get, mine, mine are going to get rough. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we had a different <laughs> ammo for tonight, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so uh, a quick update before we get into that. We wanted to get into our Found Footage Festival classics. Oh, yeah. Uh, we like to play a, a clip that's maybe a, a, a deeper cut from one of our DVDs, our digital downloads. And so we have one today. It's The Fall, which made me think about fall and people falling and so i suggest we're not about this. puns here no, no 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 we'll do puns it just seemed like if we could do some kind of like great fall to celebrate fall it'd be good so what do we pick up okay so this one comes from volume five it's our lying and stealing montage where we took a bunch of different videos that we had to lie and steal to get like stuff that yeah stuff that like i actually shoplifted a bunch of suncoast videos uh, we mostly safety videos, find and then stuff we show at those. thrift stores, but like some of the stuff you have to get more creative for, like train, Ch yeah. training videos don't just like... Chicken harvesting videos. We had to <laughs> pretend that we were actual farmers uh, who harvested chickens to get this video. But anyway, this one that I'm going to show you is safety on the job, accidents, accident causes and prevention. Somebody in Eau Claire, Wisconsin gave us this after a show. Give us a, actually two tape set. It came and from a, a library, looks yeah, like? I, yeah, yeah. And I look at this cover. I love the cover. Cover. I love the colors. Um, and this particular scene, we call this the Dan scene, because uh, this <laughs> guy named Dan. I don't think you've ever actually seen the full scene. I don't think so, because you edited this yeah. montage. Yeah. Yeah. This is mine. So here's the Dan scene from uh, Lion Stealing Montage. Okay. Volume five. Hey, look, Dan. Slow down. <laughs> You're making me tired just looking at you. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Hey, They're buddies, like right? Yeah. a yep. little more specific? Hey, look, you've been running around all day like a maniac. Hey, what gives? Daniel Flaherty Jr. A baby? Yep. You that's, gotta how did have he get, a baby. that's because he's you been running it. around so much. Why today? did you like say a maniac? Something? Yeah. Too busy working. You're gonna kill yourself because you're having a baby? He's gotta go to college. I should have expected that. Look. You know as well as I do, when this job's through, there's going to be some layoffs. Now, you got seniority. I got hired with that group story. last May. Oh, I see. Anybody gets fired, it's not going to be me. Hey, Why is your hair so poofy, Dan? <laughs> this is back when training videos like had backstories right. and like tried to develop character. Yeah, pornography it was like last did, May, too. I, huh? I just, pornography had backstories, yeah. and so hey, Dan, they got rid of all that. Hand with that. Look at it. He's trying to... I don't know why he's working so hard, just for the kid. How's he gonna make more money by working know. harder? Ah, oh, come on, Dan! I said I could. Dan! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Dan! <laughs> oh, so it's, it's fall. He's he was having a kid. Daniel then, Flaherty Jr. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a weird conversation. It's like, why are you working so hard, Daniel Flaherty Jr. Why are you being so obtuse, Dan? <laughs> Just tell me you're having a baby first, not the I like name. that actor, too, because he screams every yeah, line, yeah. too. <laughs> uh, and that's on volume five of our DVD. I don't know if and we have Actually, the... I want to show more from that series of okay. training videos, because like I, the, they used to direct them very well back then. Like They're all shot on film, and they're actually like very... The way that... I mean, that wasn't bad yeah, the cinematography. Were on, yeah, exactly. Then, yeah, now yeah. that now they just shit them out. Yeah, just as yeah. quickly as possible. But like, yeah. those were good. Right, they, they were actually violent, spent some too. time to develop it before the fall happened. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and like the other ones have a lot of fake blood, and yeah, it's it gets great. gory. Yeah. Uh, well, we always mention this, but if you want to get uh, the full version of the the lying and stealing montage, it is at foundfootagefest.com. We've got digital downloads, and uh, or you can just order the uh, physical media. We've mm -hmm. got volume five and six on one DVD. Yep. 
Um, what right, else we? Oh, we got this in the mail. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. But okay. This is a was a letter that we got in the mail the other day, and I think it was. A, I think it's a prank letter. I think we got pranked oh, on this one. Oh, you brought this up, but I didn't I, even you haven't see seen it. it yet. No. Okay. It says, "Hey guys, love the show. Got Great. that. Hey Thanks. guys, love the show. Can't believe I got there. What and supposed to write and." Okay. Um, I'll show you this. It's a bit of a mystery. Yeah. That's what it says. Well, so, the, yeah, the penmanship really wanna... is not clear. No, I think we got pranked. I think that I think that's a like a prank phone call. It's a prank letter. Can't believe I got the what what a d supposed to write. They took the time to put it, and nothing envelope. else is in the letter. No, that's it. Who is it from? I mean, without giving too named, much away, a guy named Storm. Okay. Yeah, that explains it. All a guy right. named Storm. Well, All right, good known. one, Storm. You got us. <laughs> you got a storm. Oh, there's a storm of ruin. Uh, oh, I wanted to say this too. I did a show in uh, in uh, Winona, Minnesota, last weekend, uh, yep. St. Mary's University, and three VCR party fans showed up, and they were sitting in the front row. They were not students at all. Oh, didn't okay. matter. They, they didn't snuck give a in, shit. Acting yeah. like students. Exactly. And they stood up in the in the front row, and they enjoyed the show. And afterwards, they told me, they were, they were like, why didn't you play a Joe's Tedium Corner? I was like, that's, that's just for these people here. Right. Nobody else wants to see it. It's just for my, my tediates out there. Right. Um, so, uh, but then afterwards, they invited me to this bar, and they brought a VHS tape that they gave to me. I haven't watched it yet, but I think it's called No Bones About It. Unzip your fish. <laughs> oh, that looks good. <laughs> it also has like three different titles on it. It's no bones about it. Filleting fish to today's, today's way, way with Peter Stella. Today's way. Yeah. Um, so salmon walleye. I was thinking about featuring this for a Nick's Vegan Corner one of these days. Oh, great! Well, yeah. that's the segment that just won't quit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I didn't check the message boards, but I think it's taken off. Oh really? Yeah. Yep. You didn't check the message boards. <laughs> Is that what <laughs> right. called? Yeah, yeah. Usenet dot VCR party. Um, um, well, yeah. I I uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So the Tedium Corner does seem to be taking off. I I think um, next week I'm going to bring a um, a Nick's Excitement Corner back, and we'll see if we can start getting some uh, groundswell for that okay. as well. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it's never going to usurp. Tedium corner. I mean, that's well, just a. We'll it's see. a steam train I don't know. right the, now. The, the... It's a really boring steam train. Just. <laughs> yeah, uh, the concept you know what I actually... of entertaining audiences is going to be slow to take off, but maybe it'll get there. Um, so speaking, okay. So do you want to dive into the controversy now? Yeah, let's talk about this because. Oh, you know what? I was going to write a, a, an apology. Oh, I thought for, you did. Uh, shit, I totally forgot to write my. Well, I, I guess I'm just going to have to free, f- freestyle it. So uh, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago we showed a video uh, called uh, Dutch right Oven. Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah, Dutch this Oven is, this cooking is the Dutch basics. Oven. It was, this is for Nick's Vegan Corner. And just as, a, uh, as it, an aside, you're like, do I need to even define what a Dutch oven is? Yeah. And you defined it as just letting a fart cook under the covers. Yes. And I said, no, it's specifically trapping somebody over. We argued about this for the majority of the hour. Yep. And uh, we Steve, asked, Steve even jumped in. Steve yeah. was just like, "Nope, Nick is right." Like I, he was like motioning, yeah. like, "Nope, Nick." And then like the message boards were lit up. Yeah, right. That's we, what they're called, checked, message boards. <laughs> yeah, we checked uh, Urban Dictionary, we checked Wikipedia, and yeah, and I was wrong. Okay, but <laughs> but um, having said that, yeah. Uh, well, I, okay, I'm not going to jump back into it. I'm I'm going to apologize to everybody out there okay. for. Uh, getting Dutch ovens wrong. What I was doing was a, a Dutch oven Brooklyn style. And I was not doing just the regular bu- Dutch oven. I was doing it Brooklyn style, which is how we do it in Brooklyn here. Um, you don't live in Brooklyn. You live in Queens, I'm in right? Queens, yeah. right. So, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't know. So I have the understanding that the rest of the world has of a Dutch oven. But yeah. No, go ahead. So, oh, so, but anyway, to apologize to people for yeah. not saying it was a Brooklyn style Dutch oven. It's a real Dutch backhanded oven. apology. <laughs> no, okay. this is like, I'm about to cry. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm seriously tearing up. Go ahead. Um, I, what I decided to do is put together a montage of all of the Dutch ovens that they say in that video. Oh, okay. Except for like 16 of them. I, there were, I think there's like 47 Dutch ovens in this, mm-hmm. and I have 16 that I don't know where to place yet. But it's a, it's like it's a, a two-minute. work minute, in progress. It's a work in progress. I but, didn't hear "I'm sorry" yet. I mean, this is great, but is there? A, well, if you really dug your feet in on that. Well, no, argument. different people apologize in different ways. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not right. everybody has to do the "I'm sorry" thing. Hmm. All right. Um, so here's here's my apology, my way of apologizing uh-huh. to everybody. Okay. 
With the growing interest in Dutch oven and the formation of the International Dutch Oven Society, we thought it would be a great time to put together an instructional video for the lifelong Dutch oven practitioner. Diane's going to show you these Dutch ovens. Take a look at this. You're going to want to know which Dutch oven is right for you. Deep Dutch oven, 8-inch Dutch oven, 10-inch Dutch oven, 12-inch Dutch oven, 16-inch Dutch ovens. It is the official Dutch oven for the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> You'll want to go to this Dutch oven. I have her in another video. Oh, do you? Yes. Now that you know which Dutch oven you're going to use, put them onto the Dutch oven, right in the Dutch oven, in the Dutch oven, Dutch oven, Dutch oven. From that day on, I've been hooked on the Dutch oven. <laughs> when the Dutch oven is all seasoned, you're ready for your first Dutch oven adventure. <laughs> the key to successful Dutch oven cooking is to know which size of Dutch oven you have. Now that you have all of the briquettes on the Dutch oven, you'll have this Dutch oven that you'll be cooking in the Dutch oven. We'll take the Dutch oven, place it on top in any Dutch oven, and you're all ready to cook on the Dutch oven. You can also use your outdoor Dutch oven into the Dutch oven. One of the most important things about cooking in a Dutch oven is to recondition the Dutch oven. You don't want that Dutch oven to rust at all. I'll take the Dutch oven, place the Dutch oven on top of that, scrape it to one side of the Dutch oven, then take the Dutch oven, place it back into the Dutch oven until your next Dutch oven. A great place to start Dutch oven cooking is on the bottom of the Dutch oven. I've been heating the Dutch oven on the bottom of the Dutch oven. So I'm gonna use a 12 inch Dutch oven and always line the Dutch oven with Dutch oven. It's a 12 inch <laughs> Dutch oven. Anybody can cook in a Dutch oven. The best part of Dutch oven is sharing it with your family and friends. <laughs> Looks delicious to me. What do you think? Great. There we go. Okay, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Different people apologize Still in different ways. Still not an apology, ways. but uh... um, but no, I, I do acknowledge that a Dutch oven, a traditional Dutch oven, is to fart under the covers and put it over one's head. So trap, I do understand. Trap somebody, yes, yeah. and to trap somebody. And I like there. picturing that lady doing it to her. Like, oh Henry, <laughs> uh, uh, did I tell you about the Dutch oven? Oh no, dear. He's reading, and then just. <laughs> yeah, in, in her full uh, denim Den pajamas. Denim, she has full denim pajamas. Denim pajamas. <laughs> With a denim nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Henry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have heard oh. in a video about Halloween arts and crafts. Uh, oh, that, yeah? yeah? Yeah, so uh, when we do our Halloween episode, um, the week of Halloween, we'll... we'll oh, it'll be maybe, fun to see her again. She'll make another uh, appearance. Yeah. So I would say, you know, we showed that one that you did of the uh, Between the Shafts yes. video, where yeah. they say the word shaft over and over. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, well, like, we mash those up somehow. We do, like, Between the Dutch Oven... Sh between the Shafts, shafts of the Dutch of Oven, the Dutch or something ovens. like that. We combine those into, like, yeah. a super powerful, it's, stupid it's montage. It's crazy, but I, this might work. Yeah, we'll try it out. I like it. Um, well, we have shows coming up. We're on tour uh, a lot this fall. Um, actually, on Thursday, we're in Schenectady, New York. There's a cool venue there called Proctor's. So if you're anywhere in Albany or that area, come by. And we're going to be talking all about our Chop and Steel and um, Kenny Strasser, Chef Keith, all of our news prank stuff. It's going to be all about that. Our lawyer's coming up, too. Our lawyer's yes, coming so up We're doing to talk a seminar during the day talking to a bunch of cable access um, is that what it is? Yeah, there are a bunch of cable access, um, community access uh, professionals coming to this conference. They asked us is to it, speak at. Is it going to be academic? Do we have to? No, they said just do your thing. He okay. said these people are. He said you know they have like a, a professional job, but they have good senses of humor. Okay. So I think you'd have to working in public access television. Yeah, for but sure. But I already one person messaged me and said, hey, I've got some footage for you. Oh, great. So I think it's going to be a real boon. And the week after that, we we're in Arlington, Virginia. Mm -hmm. two, two nights we're doing our special after dark show. Mm -hmm. So it's going to get real dirty. Mm -hmm. um, and then well, it's Raleigh coming up. Yeah, that's a we're doing a, a unique show for them. That's kind of like um, they're having a VHS festival. They're calling it. It's their big. Uh, it's Video Store Day on the twentieth of October, and the twenty first we're going to be there, and we're going to show videos like that we got while working at video stores that we found at video stores. So that'll be good. Uh, and then we're in Brooklyn doing a Halloween VCR mm -hmm. party at the Minneapolis, Brooklyn. Madison. The whole at the end, there's a scroll with oh, all yeah. the uh, tour schedules coming up. Yep. Um, one other thing, uh, we uploaded our Patreon Video Club. Uh, is that what we're calling it? Patreon yeah, Video, Club? Video yeah. Club? Yeah, Patreon Video Club. We uploaded that yesterday, and it's a doozy. I'm going to post a... it immediately. Oh, after. you haven't posted it yet? No, I was okay. waiting to announce it because I didn't want to put um, hardcore pornography in people's <laughs> inboxes without explaining what it was. Okay, so. The hardcore pornography isn't the funny part of it. It comes from this video um, that somebody sent us from Minnesota, I yeah, want to say. Yeah, I think so. Um, here it is. It's, it's, 
it's actually called Number One Bronson Family. I think I always call it Bronson Family Number One. It's Number One Bronson Family. We played a little bit of this before. Yeah, and it's like mostly a Charles Bronson movie. Uh, but then about 19 minutes into the Charles Bronson movie, it gets interrupted by a guy videotaping pornography off of his computer, computer, recording it onto this VHS tape. And it's it's rough stuff, too. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's hardcore. Yeah. Like, it's gross. And um, he, uh, so, yeah, so. But the funny part is his cat. I don't, that's oh, what I was, okay. I was trying to, I, I don't want to. Well, we've already showed it. But with, oh, with the true. censored version. That's true. Basically, okay. he has a pesky cat who keeps interrupting yeah. his whatever he's doing while watching the pornography. And we showed it before, and we had to blur out all the pornography. Right. And then uh, the cat would come out. But now you get to see the pornography with the cat coming yeah, out. Yeah, and it's so. a full version with him muttering stuff. It's it's pretty unbelievable. There's one part where he yells at somebody uh, while he's on an eBay page or something. Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if you are a Patreon uh, backer, patron at $5 or more, uh, you will get to see that. I'm to send a link out immediately after the show tonight so look forward to some pornography have, in your inbox. so if people sign up new for patreon now can they get yeah they can, WAP from last they month? can access all of oh, the that. previous ones and okay. i put up a bonus one uh, as well so okay anyway the, we'll, we'll post at least one a month but usually more all right let's get some videos let's bring steve out yep all right steve come on out it's time for our special guest show and tell all right Okay, turn your microphone on. You got it. I think All so. Right. Cool. Congratulations, this is Steve. buddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. He's a married man now. Let's see the ring. You got it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that's what cool. you do. You ask men to see the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. a gold band. How about that? <laughs> uh, um, uh, so, congratulations. We wanted to celebrate. We wanted. To, we didn't get to go on your bachelor party. Oh, no, you missed a good time. Yeah. What did you actually do on your bachelor party? Fishing, we went to um, batting cage at Fenway, uh, we did a lot. Yeah, so at Fenway, but you're from New England. From New England, Rhode and, Island. Yeah, and so you're a Red Sox fan, and they actually let you like hit balls at Fenway? Um, so not in the, on the park, but so they have the visiting batting cages attached to a bar. In Fenway, the the new ownership, they've gotten smart. They put the seats on top of the monster, and okay. they've done a lot of every way they can milk your money, but I'm, I'm happy to pay. Did, wow. you, did you do any golfing on this... Uh... Bachelor party. I did not, but I am a uh, an avid. And I know you like golfing. So, but today on our little bachelor party, we're gonna go golfing with some golf funnies. (laughs) Check this out. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We like to laugh. You know, the guys get together. Oh yeah. We we do some laughing. We do uh, some golfing, and this combines the two. Tell some zingers. Yep. Um, One thing I know about Nick is he loves to tell a zinger or two. Oh Oh, god. God, yeah. You get me out on the links. What the hell's I cannot get this Ooh, out. This bachelor party's okay. off to a terrible <laughs> story. Okay. All right. Um, Entertainment Tonight put this out. Uh, oh. Yeah, so you're in good news. Yeah. You're in good hands here. Okay. Uh, when, you really ejected, I, all the when you ejected, I want to look at the price tag on that because I thought I saw how much it was. <laughs> and it's, it's shocking. So, all right. Golf uh, funnies. It's actually Scimitar put this one out. Oh, yeah? Um, okay, so here it is. Um, these are the uh, golf funnies. Ooh, Rod and Zimmerman and Associates. It has funny music so far, right? Can you actually turn it down a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Par for the course. Oh get boy. it? Yeah, you get it? Yeah. I love me a good pun. It's still going on. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, like I loved staying up and watching the Benny Hill show. Oh, yeah. This and is, just chasing around. This yeah, is what oh, this yeah. is like, yeah. Certainly an homage. Just as funny. Is the uh, volume at a good level? No. Oh, yeah. Watch this part. Oh, <laughs> Look at the latest. Wedgie! Good early hero. Look at it. That's a hard shot. Not easy. Well, the, what's <laughs> funny about that? Look at it. Another difficult shot. Oh boy! Oh, he didn't make it. No. Nope. I mean, that's not a gimme. Some of the zaniest misses <laughs> in all of putting. Jack Nicholas. Yeah. Yeah, they just showed him, like, looking at something. What was the... <laughs> She's upset she missed it. That happens. He Whoops. missed. He came close. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a really difficult putt. <laughs> and he missed it. He missed the 30-footer. Uh, <laughs> I could see if it was a gimme. I feel like that's somebody, like the production crew. Boat shoes without socks. Look at it. It's close. Yeah. <laughs> 
show you how to get your ball at least to the hole by one foot. I feel bad for everyone involved in this. <laughs> well, join us now as Dwight and his partner, Huey what? Lewis, show us the Huey Lewis. Spyglass Hill. That's him, huh? Yep. Where'd go? Hey, it actually is Huey Lewis. Who's <laughs> all? I guess Huey Lewis is a bad golfer. I see it. I think that's Tiger Woods old caddy. Was it? Funny editing, too. Oh, uh, they kept repeating his... That's not Huey Lewis, is it? Oh, no, one. that there is. Yeah. I want the news to be behind him in sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Side splitting, right? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. to a good start. What's the Could... funniest thing that's ever happened to you on a golf course? <laughs> oh, boy. See, Nick asks the hard questions, yeah, though, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, you show golf funnies, it just seems like the natural follow-up. <laughs> I'm sure I've stepped into water. You well, know, you get, oh, it. God, I wish we would have had that at tape. Well. Um, so, um, what, your lovely wife, Liz, yes. um, why do you think she said yes when you asked her? Ooh, that's a great question. That's another, he does that the top Yeah. Place. Um, you know, I think uh, she I still want the I, answer about the uh, funniest thing that ever happened to you on the golf course. I still want that. Stepped in a puddle. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, puddle. that's what the answer is. Yeah, I'll take my answer splitter. off the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could have said, like, I missed a putt, because apparently yeah, that's very yeah, funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Too many. Too okay. many to name. Anyway, so, so. Why do you think she said yes? I, you know, I think she likes the, the people I hang out with. Okay. She wanted so this is getting in with the uh, true oh, cool. TV stars and yeah, you know, cool. buttering us up. The, the, okay. The yeah, along yeah with what us. a guy. Well, what a yeah, gal. Thank you very much. But nope, it's for your buns. Oh. Yeah. I talked to Liz. She told me she was attracted by your buns. And here's a video called Bonetics. All right. And this is how to work out that uh, that part of your body that's most important to women. Yeah. Uh, your wife specifically. And the uh, host of this is Cal DePozo. And. Uh, I'm just going to show you the end of the workout. This is kind of the cool down period. So you'll have to watch the full video and you'll just get to see the cool down period after a hard buttocks All workout. All right, I'm ready. All right. Are there some good quotes on the back here? Yeah, uh, we'll read those after. Okay. Have either of you guys ever done this workout? Oh, yeah. Hey, all right. The side now is the Come on. I can see you doing that. Stomach in. So far, so good. Slowly in his bed. I can see you wearing that outfit. Without a doubt. And slow. And one. Come on. Four. <laughs> it kind of has like a Martin Short foreign Set guy accent. Yeah. I can't Relax quite place it. it. And then roll slowly. And slowly. And slowly. <laughs> Pretty this early. is the first time <laughs> That's you're Rachel doing Melendez. the workout with us. Yeah. I hope to see you in a couple of days, as a matter of fact. You try to do this three times a week. If you have done this before, let's reverse. I certainly hope to see you in a couple of days. Courtesy of Capizzi. All right, here wow. I think they're based in New York. Three, oh. He's such a four, Martin Short character. Five. Body Buddy. Wow. 1986, yeah. Well, Capizio certainly got their money's worth with that product placement. So, yeah, do you uh. want to read any of these quotes from the back here? These might... Uh... Oh, these are all good. Yeah. Top rated, great tape with extensive explanations of each exercise. Shape Magazine, Shape magazine you nailed it. Yeah. You nailed yep. it. Uh, all exercises are safe, easy, and effective. Okay. Diet and exercise. Great, safe. A, is that a magazine or just diet and exercise? <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, concept. Yeah. Quoted. And then I, this one's definitely the favorite. Say goodbye to hip and bottom jiggles. Exactly. I mean, that's why I would have bought it. Yeah. yeah. There. So put that one on the top. All there. right, Liz, thank us later. <laughs> these buns are going to be. Um, all right. Shape. So the guy, the guys are together. We just had some fun. We watched right. some the uh, Benetics videos, <laughs> and you know, we did some golfing. Mm -hmm. Guess what we do now? We uh -oh. do some farting. Oh, we do some farting. <laughs> one step that's ahead what of the you guys. guys. Do. They get together. Show the back of this too. Yeah. This is the happy birth. It's happy birthday to the mystery farter. This is oh, the boy. look at this back cover. It's so good. Um, you say it as a joke, but we just watched a 30-minute, uh, you watched a Dutch <laughs> oven pet yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't, re I didn't realize this, this is going to be a pretty fart-heavy episode. I would the like whole... to give a shout-out to Tim Archer, who is, I think, the master of the Dutch oven. So I oh, just wanna... who's Tim Archer? Tim Archer, buddy I went to college with. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, just known for his Dutch ovens. Oh. I mean, he... that's a legend. Was he at your wedding? He was. Oh, why didn't you introduce I me? Should, you know, I should have. Oh. 
I just, you know, I, I would have loved to talk to him about Dutch ovens. Well, like, well we he would we... not have recognized the Brooklyn one. Though. No, I'm no, gonna tell no, you. It no one does. Well for you. It's not the most popular one. I'll, I'll admit that. I'm, I'll 100 percent admit that. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We checked the message boards while uh, before I came yeah. on while you said it. No one for Brooklyn agreed. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that must just be you. Just wow. you. Well, I don't know. Me, it, I'm going to have to check it. Pick a Dutch oven. Okay, yeah, so. For something different, a farting video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this, I guess you would buy this for somebody whose birthday it was, and he'd pop it in and, and laugh at these fart jokes. Uh, they're all animated, and uh, we're going to start off. It's it's called the birthday farter, but let's pretend they're at a wedding here. You know, it's like okay. a birthday party farter. Okay. The wedding party farter. Yeah. This video is like 20 minutes long, like this. If it's your birthday party, you should be able to slip out a few unobtrusive farts every now and then. The room is probably crowded and noisy, and if your friends are going to get all upset and insist on moving away, I wouldn't invite them to your next Great animation. Party. Yeah. Oh, so that's how they kick things off. Okay. Um, I was gonna skip past this one unless I. Well, maybe if you guys are gonna have kids, maybe this, this yeah, could. Uh, well, anything's on the table Little right kids now. kids fart Bro? too, whether or not it's their birthday. Kids are never mystery farters because they're so uninhibited. They I just wish they did actual fart I don't like to do this in the tuba. Go on their merry way. That was very. I mean, Nick is very particular about his fart noises. I'm sorry, John. I didn't mean to <laughs> yeah. confuse you with Nick there. <laughs> All right, this this one this one will speak to you. Oh, good. Oh, wait, no, not this one. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to change my answer. I but, think but, Liz married me because of my farts. Oh, really? Oh, really? Not for your buns. That but, is why she said yes. Actually, I shouldn't skip this one because the guy in the back looks like Hitler, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Hitler <laughs> fart. Just when you're stuck in slow-moving traffic. Doesn't it? It's tough yeah. to be a mystery Why would they make him like that? Car. Among friends, it's best to shout, hold your breath, and hope the smell dissipates before the driver passes out. <laughs> Roll down the windows. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the one you might want to. This one actually is kind of touching towards the end. Lover's Ooh. party. Ooh. Oh, here we are. Hey, Lizzie. <sighs> the lover's fart is a very private and beautiful fart that, to put it delicately, just sort of slips out at a very intimate moment. In the romance and good feeling of the lovemaking, the fart is usually ignored. Even See, when uh, it isn't that's your a Brooklyn birthday. Dutch oven. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's what just happened. <laughs> Look at this. Is actually, a nice oh. ending. Oh, that's that oh, nice. Wow. So there you go. It became a heart. Yeah. I love yeah. That. Um, do you fart in front of Liz? Oh yeah. Do you really? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a second. <laughs> really? Wow. You, that, I told you, you. I think she married me because of my. I think really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, something I've buns related. No matter yeah, what. I think. Well, it went hand in hand. I happen to know that both you and well you. Play a lot of board games with us. I do. And Liz has come over and played board games before. She's a good sport. And she's great. Yeah. Uh, she's actually a good gamer. She really is. Yeah. So I brought a VCR game that okay. I thought you guys would really enjoy. Oh wow! Together, it's called Rap Rat, the video board game. Um, you guys rap together? We haven't yet. No. No. Okay. No. Well, maybe on your honeymoon. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. So this is the game. Uh, it's, it comes with a 60-minute video, and like a lot of VCR games, basically you play on a board, um, but then some some uh, annoying person interrupts you on the video right. and gives you random things like, uh, you stop. Here, let me here's some. Here's I'll your. Hold this up. Your here's the board. Cubes that you have to fill. There's the board. And apparently this is Australian. I can't even remember where we found this. But uh, it comes with a VHS tape. My uh, goal here is to see how far we can get through this without fast forward. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the most... You have the next uh, tedium coin yeah, this time. Joseph, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is close. This is you'll, you'll have to see. Rat Rat's inside. The game is set up. The pieces are ready. The stage is set for the new king of rap. 60 minute video, I did see that. Yeah. The first thing you must do is open the playing board in front of the TV so that everyone can see the screen. You and Liz are watching To start this. the game, so far, wait so for good. Rat Rat to appear and listen very carefully to what he has to say. Lights! Camera! Action! Now, now, now you're looking at a star attraction! I'm, 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 I'm history in the making and all yours for the taking! I'm the talk of the town! The they think this is rap. That's not rap. I'm a legend in a lunchtime! In a lifetime, got an A in attitude. Maybe we have rap <laughs> <and> I, I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> we spoke to each other. Rap rat, rap rat. Oh, yeah. Now, now, this is my 
my game, and if you want to play, you gotta do it my way. Have you ever seen the, the Twilight Zone movie me, from the eighties? Yeah, they they remake one of the classic if, if ones where the little say, kid gets whatever he yes. wants, and like cartoon puzzle. Looney Tunes cartoons come to life, turn, and these grotesque caricatures, so and that's what this guy reminds me of. They go, just, get look at that close It doesn't throw. end. No. And, you won't come last. and the and game hasn't even started yet. I don't know. So, like, we're all gamers and we're all no, sitting around and we're watching this. No. Yeah. It's just horrifying. So, 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 I think Albertina would like this game. She'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, would yeah. Yeah. I was just oh, seeing if I could get through this whole thing today Well. This could be a good tedium corner. Yeah. I mean, if you want to do a Joe's tedium corner, by all means. That's what I thought it was. I thought we were next yeah. tedium corner. Yeah. I just well, want to get it would be Joe's tedium corner with Nick. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's the precedent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's quite enough. Yeah. I think we got it. Yeah. Yeah. So it reminded me a little of the Noid, the Void yeah, the Noid, whatever you're right. his name is. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. From Excellent call. Yeah. Did I ever tell you my Noid story? No, you haven't. Settle so. in, Steve. Oh boy. <laughs> We're right. We just want to alert the affiliates. We may run long. <laughs> Okay, so uh, come with belt first of all, for <laughs> all right. those don't, who don't know the Noid, I think it was the, the Domino's, Domino's yeah. uh, mascot for a little while. Yep. And uh, I was at a flea market in Wisconsin, and they had a full life-size Noid costume for mm. sale, like authentic Noid costume for sale, 50 bucks. And I looked at it, and I took a picture, and I think I put it on Instagram. I was like, haha, that's funny. And then as I'm driving home, I'm like, why the fuck did I buy that thing? I, yeah. I can't believe you. Why didn't did have I that? not buy that Noid costume? I could be hanging up behind us for right 50 now. Fifty bucks. Well, I think you could have talked him down. I'm just gonna go yeah. out on a limb here. <laughs> but it probably was from a Domino's employee, like for their like yeah, events that they would do. Yeah. 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 I know. One of a kind. Um, All right. I'm super stoked about this one. Um, this one. Okay, so it's called Together Forever. It's put out by the uh, Aid Associations for Lutherans. Top loader. You yeah, know it. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. look at what he's you talking about here. Normally, <laughs> you see that you can get access it there. Nope. You access it at the top. top All loader. the Lutheran Association ones are like that. Top yeah. Loaders. So this one they attempted to put together a sitcom, Ooh. and oh, oh, I know. You know, I know I'm, this one. I'm going to. I was hoping that you hadn't, because there's one moment that I really was excited for you to see. I'm I gonna... haven't seen it in a while, okay. so go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah. So here it is, together forever, <clears throat> and uh, you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. Special attention to this one. I was just gonna ask you guys not to to, to observe silence during this one. Oh, so right. no no comments, okay. no wisecracks. Right. Um. Uh, so did you talk to the DJ? Uh, no. Jim, come on, we've got to get our music taken care of. The wedding's only six months away. You want live music? Uh-huh. Your Uncle Fritz. Jim, your Uncle Fritz plays the accordion in a polka band. I don't think that would be... Uh-huh. Sorry? Polka rock. Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't know there was such a thing as polka rock. <laughs> uh-huh. They can play everything from the Beatles to the Blowfish. Jim, Jim. Where did you get this ridiculous idea to have your Uncle Fritz playing at a Uncle Fritz? Uh, hi. You're visiting Jim. <laughs> How nice. Yeah. Uh, sure. We'd love to have you play at our reception. Uh, uh huh. The song Feelings? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, it's one of my favorites. The Polka Macarena? Uh, uh huh. That sounds great. Hit close to home. Wow. Look at this the music. Yeah, not quite friends. <laughs> oh, this is it a was great pretty system. easy. That silence. Going <laughs> oh, look at he's putting ketchup everywhere. Look at the deal the mustard right there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, silly guy. <laughs> not quite attractive enough to be on a sitcom. Okay. By the way, did you think about how long that actress had to like learn that monologue? That was like I thought she nailed it actually. Yeah, yeah. she was good. Yeah. Um, Come on in, Jim. Oh, the door's open. So this this part's like, <laughs> this, Hi, this part's pretty boring. Okay. No. But how are you? I want I want you to wait until the next Jim? person who walks through the door. I think yeah. Nick's gonna be excited about this. She's wearing her Dutch oven okay. outfit. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jenny. Look, is there something wrong with your TV? The third quarter of the game's getting ready to come on. I don't want to miss any of that. Have you noticed how nice it is outside today? Uh, they look like it. I was thinking. 
Yeah. yeah. Are you considering converting to Lutheranism, Steve? No, I just bet you they were like, it's a job. They answered it backstage. And no, I think they were like probably part of the congregation. Too good. Oh, sandwiches. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm starving. All right, let's go then. Go. Mm -hmm. Who wants to watch Where are we going? Stop right there. There it is. As you can see, you Jim and Jenny, Nick? like many couples, need to improve oh, their oh, it's David Ruprecht. skills. <laughs> oh, I thought it was God. Is it? It what is. Mix right. It is. The host of Supermarket Sweep? Yeah. That was me. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Hi, kids. Wow. And hello to you. It is. And welcome to Together Forever, a video that's designed to help you improve you your relationship. And I think and that, that's all I wanted to show. I wanted to show you David Ruprecht, that David Ruprecht was a <laughs> guest star. <laughs> that. Do you know who like David Ruprecht is? I a little bit of marriage, though. I know Supermarket Sweep. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't remember that sitcom, uh, that particular episode, but I could tell it was David Ruprecht's voice because yeah. it sounded like, when you're in the supermarket and you hear that beep, don't forget about all the fun you can have on Supermarket Sweep. Oh, you recognize his Sweep. voice. That's, yeah, that's that impressive. Was, yeah. that's impressive. I thought it was God. Yeah. That's what you were getting excited. If you want to borrow this, though, it well, seemed like, you know, because you want to watch the game, Liz wants to make sandwiches. All right. Well, you know? yeah. You both want to watch a Friends knockoff. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd, I'd be remiss if we didn't have, uh, you know, we talked about last week, like, oh, are we going to have a stripper come out of a cake and all that stuff. You can't really do that um, nowadays. We priced them. We called around. Yeah. Everybody was booked tonight. Well, I just more meant in the Me Too era. But oh, I <laughs> oh, thought you meant Tuesday nights. But I thought yeah. this was uh, yeah. uh, tasteful enough and non-erotic enough that we could p show this. It's actually a yeah. nude birthday party, so it's a bit of a cheat. There just aren't a lot of wedding. Uh, it wouldn't be a bachelor party though, without a without some sort of entertainment. Yeah, so, right. Some sort of adult entertainment. So this is a video by this a company, Bob Scott Productions, which does nude law enforcement, nude boating, nude tennis. We have a whole Bob Scott section nude over housework. there. Housework. Yeah. Uh, but here's a little bit of uh, somebody jumping out of a cake. <laughs> this one's for you, buddy. Oh yeah. boy. Oh wait, sorry, I just want to get to the beginning of this. Something was funny. I think you're gonna we're all agree that it was a funny thing. Happy birthday! Happy wedding. Waiting to see the presents we bought for you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait until you see the presents we bought for you. Ha! Ha ha ha! Happy birthday! 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 Yeah, yep. so kind of a raucous good time here yeah. at the. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're yeah. all eating. Uh... She's like, "Oh, are you recording?" <laughs> they're all eating your wedding cake. Uh, yep. Hey, this is a birthday you're never gonna forget. Or a wedding. Yeah. The wedding. Yeah, the wedding you're never gonna forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy wedding to wow. Steve. There yeah. we go. Wow. Yeah. I feel like that was. Well, something else. cheers. We wanted to end with something sexy, and I yeah, think we, we did it. Um, um, how, how did this rank? Uh, oh, you, we have... Well, uh, this is just our outro one. How this does this our... rank compared to your actual birthday party? Or your actual... Uh, <laughs> it actually, actual uh, it rank, no, I think uh, we should go with birthday party. No, no, and, no. Uh, uh, it was... Bachelor party. Oh, I mean, neck and neck, really. Really? Please don't make me choose. Uh, like, yeah. like hitting balls at Fenway and then watching golf funnies. And, you know. I yeah. mean, <laughs> the golf funnies certainly... Uh, Really tickles me. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hilarious. It was more than Lewis, yeah. Not well, in the news. What happens on VCR party stays on VCR party. So Liz <laughs> doesn't have to know. We told nope. her not to tune in. So. <laughs> um, all right, buddy. Well, all right. we're gonna end with this. This is um, Frank Worley. Whenever there's a big moment, you would call on Frank Worley. Whether it's a big holiday or there's a you know. A... Did I meet Frank Worley? No, Did I met you? Bill Porter. You met, you met Bill Porter. Met Bill That's Porter. right, the director of this. I knew I, had yeah, some, yeah. I knew yep. I met someone. Yeah, so this guy, he put out so many songs. We have like a dozen of these videos, and I guess they would send them out to nursing homes, and they're like old standards. They're old classics. And this one that we're going to watch is called Get Me to the Church on Time, which is an old-timey song All right. about uh, getting married. So... Congratulations, buddy. Thank you guys so much. Happy for you. Mazel tov. Thank you did you. it. Many right. happy returns to you and Liz. <laughs> thanks. And thanks okay. for directing our show yeah, for no money. Yeah, we'll go back behind <laughs> the <no> camera. Money. <laughs> Take it away, Frank. Lyrics are on screen so everybody can sing along at home. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pull out the, the stopper, it's the people in the background. Like they're yeah. so excited. 
And Greg didn't bother to learn the words either. <laughs> it's just rolled the dice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing, didn't, nothing really happen. Playing the Yahtzee? Oh, it's his turn. Oh, it must be fake pork, so I don't really want to Girls wait to see it. Yeah. Me, show me how you'll miss I wish he was playing rap right here. To the church on time. <laughs> when I was at Bill Porter, Nick tried on the Abominable Snowman oh, costume. Oh, yeah. That I was did. We should show that sometime. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was one of my favorite parts. Throw me off the Do we go to the credits here at some point? Yeah, oh, let's say. Pick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass, and get me to the church, get me to the church, for Pete's sake, get me to the church on time. If I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, throw me out the door. For I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime.